Hey, um, G'day team, it's uh, as I just said, it's fairly late on Friday or quarter past six on Friday as I'm filming this. I'm a bit behind on my my videotaping at the moment just because of all the work that's going on in the boxing gym. Um, if I just turn the camera a little bit, you guys will see that uh, the strength gym's not looking too crash hot at the moment either. So there's just, this place is just chaos at the moment. There's just stuff everywhere and there's so much going on. It's um. It's really hard to keep up with exactly where we're at with the project and what's happening, but we are training tomorrow for Anzac Day. Now, tomorrow's workout, there's some big rep numbers. So it says it starts with 50 pull-ups and you can do pull-ups or fence pulls and I know some people are doing bent over rows, whatever. Every time you stop, you've got five jump squats. So you've got to, in, you've got to employ a bit of strategy here. If you're only doing sets of you know 10 pull-ups, and to be honest, that's about what I'll be doing, then do your 10, do your five jump squats, do your 10, do your five jump squats. Plan it out that way. 100 push-ups, it's a lot. Don't try and do them all in a, in a row. Don't go out and do 50 or do 40 in your first set and then have to stop and do sets of five after that because every time you stop, and a stop for a pull-up is obviously letting go of the bar, a stop for a push-up needs to be pretty much continuous motion. So if you're down like this, and you've actually got all the way to the ground and you've laid down, that's a stop. So that rep doesn't count and you've got to jump up and you've got to do five jump squats. With your sit-ups, again, you know, if you're just laying there, you're laying, laying, laying like this, you know that you've stopped. It's got to be up, down, up, down, up. And if you stop, then you need to do five jump squats. That's what needs to happen. After each of these little sets, there is a 400 meter run. Now, treat that as a bit of a recovery effort. You don't need to kill yourself during that 400 meter run. It's just get your reps done. So 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. Now, after each of those, it's jump squats as a penalty. Then we go into 100 squats. And with the squats, the penalty is not jump squats. That would hardly be fair. The penalty is push-ups. 400 meter run after your squats, and then we finish off with skipping. So either 100 double unders or 200 single skips. Every time you trip over the rope, it's five push-ups. It's um, it's a cracking workout. I can't wait to do this. I've um, it's been a been a really tough week. Uh, I've been running a bit in the morning as in trying to get these workouts done as part of the you know 800 gram challenge and all that sort of stuff. But um, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's um, it's probably my my first sort of real big workout effort of the week. The rest of it, I've sort of been going through the motions and fitting it in where I can amongst the um, amongst the building project. But um, tomorrow, I'm, uh, I've made a promise to myself I'm going to get this one done and enjoy Anzac Day and enjoy the weekend. So, um, what can I say, guys? Hopefully, I'll see you all soon and uh, enjoy the workout on Anzac Day. Thanks. See ya.